We have your top headlines where you live. I'm Joe Ellison. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around our area. Now, while Arkansas's governor's race is until 2022, Sarah Huckabee Sanders is already on the campaign trail. She started a campaign tour she calls Freedom Tour. Sunday and tonight, she heads to the Riverfront Amphitheater in Fort Smith. Now, to be able to attend the event, you have to head to Sanders' website where you'll register and can get your free ticket. The race, the pace at the rally will be limited. Gates will open at 530. And Sanders isn't the only candidate gearing up for next year's election. She's being challenged by Attorney General Leslie Rutledge on the Republican side. Now, on the Democratic ticket, there are four. Chris Jones, Supa Cypresseth Mays, Anthony Bland, and James Russell. And Ricky Dell Harrington Jr., who tried to unseat Senator Tom Cotton last year, is looking to be on the ticket as the Libertarian candidate. Primaries for the governor race will be held in May, where each party will nominate their candidate for the race. Meanwhile, drivers planning to travel near where the new Bella Vista bypass is under construction can expect some delays. Starting tomorrow through Friday, crews will be periodically performing rock blasting between 9 in the morning to 3 in the evening. Now, during the blastings, crews will temporarily stop traffic for up to about 15 minutes as a safety precaution in the areas of the interchange. I-49, Highway 71, and Walton Boulevard. And the chairman of the Select Subcommittee on the Coronavirus Crisis sent letters to governors of five states urging immediate action to speed up the distribution of emergency rental assistance funds. Now, Arkansas's governor was on that list. The letter asks for details on how the states will follow the guidance issued by the U.S. Department of Treasury on how to expedite distribution. Now, the National Low Income Housing Coalition put together some numbers on this and says in Arkansas, an analysis of census data showed that over 20 percent of renters in 29 counties owes back rent. But the state program has distributed less than 2.5 percent of its initial allocation of those funds. That's as of early July. Of course, catch up with us today on your five news at six. We'll have more on this and a look at the funds today. Well, those are some of your top headlines on this Tuesday. We'll continue to follow the news all day. Catch up with us again this evening on your five news at four, five and six. I'm Joe Ellison. Have a great day.